Are Jews an ethnicity or a religion? The answer will make your head spin. Much like the Druze, the Yazidis, and the Zoroastrians, Jews are an ethno-religion. This means that the majority of Jews, wherever they spend their time in diaspora, share certain genetic markers, social characteristics, historical experiences, and theological beliefs. Most Jews, whether hailing from Poland, Libya, Morocco, Algeria, Switzerland, Ethiopia, they share certain genetic markers with one another. And if you took people from each of those countries who all happen to be Jews and had them do a comprehensive DNA analysis via a blood test, they would yield similar results. The common denominator here is Near Eastern Semitic DNA. This is because the father of the Jewish nation, who we call Avraham or Abraham, hailed from a land called Ur Qasdim, which was in modern day Iraq. At the command of God Almighty, he traveled to the ancient land of Canaan, known as modern day Israel, and his descendants conquered the land from the evil, malevolent, wicked, idol-worshipping Canaanites, who did all sorts of evil things, ranging from sacrifice of children to pooping on their gods. I know, disgusting. Anyways, what's interesting here is the fact that the concentration of Near Eastern Semitic Levantine DNA differs from person to person. This is because although Judaism is a mostly closed religion, it is possible, although close to impossible, to convert to Judaism. Some people may have ancestors who are converts who have therefore diluted the Near Eastern Semitic DNA with their different bloodlines. Like I said, this varies from family to family. Some people in their families could tell you, oh yeah, my great 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 grandmother was a convert from Russia. Or oh yeah, my great grandmother was a convert from Eritrea or something like that. But there's no blanket statement that all Jews are actually this or all Jews are actually that. I'd like to emphasize again that conversion to Judaism is extremely difficult. It's extremely costly, time consuming, emotionally draining, and therefore the majority of Jews you will meet were actually born Jewish and only a small minority of them are Jewish via conversion. The issue of conversion really hits home for me because my husband is a convert. He possesses almost no Jewish DNA and yet he is the most Jewish person I know. As a side note, I'd like to say that things such as reform conversion, reconstructionist conversion, and conservative conversion are not considered legitimate conversions to Judaism as they have a very haphazard acceptance of biblical commandments. Like, oh, you can keep kosher if you want, but you don't have to. Like the Torah says, keep kosher. This isn't an orthodox opinion. It just literally says you have to keep kosher. You have to do X, Y, Z. You have to believe fully in the Torah. And if you don't, then you're not really Jewish. Historically speaking, converts are the reason why some Jews just don't look Jewish according to our stereotypical perceptions. You could have somebody who's born Jewish, but maybe they had a lot of ancestors who were converts. Scarlett Johannesson is a fantastic example of a Jewish woman who really does not look Jewish. She has a very Slavic appearance, beautiful woman, but my guess is she descended from a lot of converts. On the other hand, you will meet some Jews who look incredibly Jewish. I've seen German Jews who were so dark, I thought they were from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> and they were 100% German Jew, but they probably didn't have any converts to Judaism in their family, and they had curly black hair, dark eyes, dark skin, hooked noses, and so on. But is someone like my husband, who has blonde hair and blue eyes, tall, gorgeous, not Jewish, or less Jewish than somebody who was born that way? For this, we have to refer back to the definition of what exactly is a Jew. And what is that definition? It is that Jews are an ethno-religion who typically share genetic markers with one another, social characteristics, 
a shared common history, and theological beliefs. You have a convert to Orthodox Judaism who ticks all of the boxes of what it means to be a Jew, but their skin color isn't just right, or their DNA isn't just right, who cares? I personally believe that converts, sincere converts to Judaism, are better Jews than most Jews by virtue of the fact that they keep the Torah, they keep the commandments, they believe in it with their whole heart, by virtue of the fact of how they've suffered so much by on both sides to become a Jew, they're the real Jews. I believe that the obsession with race is kind of a cancer to society. At the end of the day, why does it matter? In our Torah, it tells us that a Jew is a Jew is a Jew. I believe that whether we are Jewish or not Jewish, if we looked at every single individual as a creation of God, and we saw them for who they are, their pure soul, what they bring to the table, and who they are, we would have a lot less problems in this world. It truly is a bizarre obsession about who is the most pure in terms of their DNA. Not a good look. I hope you found this to be interesting. Thank you for joining me and have a nice day. Bye-bye.